This AI startup just raised 5.3 million US dollars with a simple AI powered business model that you can copy and paste into any industry. In this video, I'll be breaking down what they're building and how you can take advantage of AI obsessed investors so that you can get in on this trend and build your next AI startup. The company I'm referring to is called Kaito and they are creating an AI powered search engine for crypto. Essentially, Bing, but for everything crypto. It combines traditional search style results with AI generated and tailored answers to your specific crypto queries. Sound ridiculously simple? Just wait, there's more. The founder and CEO of Kaito, Yu Hu, noticed that crypto information was really so fragmented all across the internet and there was no one central source of information you could go to. Because so much of crypto information is siloed off in different places and typically not picked up by traditional Google search, the founder saw an opportunity to create a one-stop shop for all crypto information by drawing on sources like Discord, Twitter, Medium, Mirror, etc., and even podcast transcripts. So any information on crypto, even from governance forums, is being pulled in and stored within Kaito. So Kaito's meta search enables people to access the entire wealth of crypto information with a simple and easy to use interface. The founder said, there's constantly people fighting against information overload. We are shortening the path to finding answers from an hour to 30 minutes to 10 seconds. The investor intention on AI is at an all time high right now with money literally raining down on people who are able to see opportunities and execute it on it quickly. Now looking at Kaito and the value and service they are looking to provide, and we put our entrepreneurs hat on, we can start to look at how this business model can be replicated into other industries where there's large amounts of information that needs to be aggregated and sort of put in one place for people to access it. But it needs to be within a specific kind of industry that traditional search does not pick up well. The AI industry is ripe for something like this, I think, because there's so much information spread across Medium and Discord, Twitter space, etc. If you're able to aggregate all of that information and give it to beginners and institutions, advanced people, developers, that's a, definitely a service people will be looking to engage with. Sports is another great example because sports fans typically turn to Twitter and social media for their information. They want to get the latest rumors and analysis from their favorite teams and athletes. An AI powered search engine could aggregate all this information from these platforms like Twitter and then give it in one nice and easy to use interface. Another good example would be a health and wellness search engine that sort of more focuses on the alternative medicine and alternative health tips because that kind of stuff doesn't typically get picked up in traditional search that well. So by aggregating all of the alternative wellness and medicine, which is a booming space right now, and making it accessible for people as a one-stop shop, I think that could be very valuable as well. Now, these are just a few quick examples that have come up, but you can go within your industry, or you can go as niche or as broad as you want, but essentially you're just indexing a lot of information and making it readily available to a specific niche who doesn't necessarily be serviced by traditional search that well. If you want an example of this, check out Find. I'm gonna put a link to it somewhere here. It's an example that I've found, and it's a artificial intelligence search engine for developers. And so if you wanna have a look at what an example of this is up and running, unfortunately, we don't have access to Kaito right now. You have to join the waitlist, but if you want an example of this kind of technology in action, the link will be down there somewhere. And you can have a play around with it and see how this developer search engine has been made and the kind of output that it gives. The great thing about this business model is that aggregating and indexing information like Kaito is doing is sort of the lowest hanging fruit within the AI space right now. There's only really three aspects to a business like this. The first being setting up your scraping systems to aggregate all the data. Secondly, indexing and storing that information. And thirdly, retrieving and formatting the information. Scraping is ancient web tech by now and the Storing, indexing, retrieving of information within these large language models is such a hot topic right now. There are so many solutions on hand for you to start using. If you're looking to get started in the AI space, then perhaps this is the kind of business you could be looking at. Take a look at the industry that you're working in or maybe the ones that are adjacent to it and say, hey, would there be any value to people in making sort of a one-stop shop for all the information like Kaito has done? One thing to keep in mind though is that you probably want to pick a topic or a niche where you can charge a high enough price for it to be worthwhile. Crypto is a great example for Kaito because there's so much money being made and there can be so much money made from timely and relevant information that you're able to charge your customers quite a lot of money because of the value that they can derive from it. So when you're picking your industry or your topic, make sure you're doing something that sort of has more value attached to it so you can charge a price that's gonna allow you to build a business. For example, if you made a hiking information search aggregator, then probably wouldn't be that valuable. So what do you think of Kaito and this AI powered search model to take information and make sort of a one-stop shop for hard to find information within a specific niche? Do you think that $5 million will be well spent and they're gonna be able to build a durable and profitable business moving forward? Or 
Is it just a fad and some investors have got caught up in the hype? Either way, the investor attention on AI is hotter than ever, which is great news for entrepreneurs like us. So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you enjoy AI entrepreneurship content, that's all I do on this channel. So please hit down and subscribe if that's your sort of thing. Hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. And leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be down there replying to them all. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.